How you doing YouTube? My gaming addiction is back and today I'm going to help you guys fix a literally kind of flawed Game Boy um, feature uh, where you get lines in uh, in the Game Boy screen. This is caused uh, mostly because um, they're soldering that gets loose in between here and it becomes off and when it comes off uh, there's lines that show up on the screen. Um, if you do this right, exactly how I show you guys, this is going to be part one actually of this mod. Uh, part two, I'm actually going to show you guys in my second Game Boy which is over there, um, how to put LED uh, lights on it, put a new LED uh, backlit screen, uh, change the buttons and all that kind of stuff. Um, I got these both these games, uh, Game Boys uh, used. The guy just gave them to me, they were basically junk. Um, and he's just like, yeah, I don't want him. He gave me a bunch of games with him and stuff like that. And uh, I, I looked around and I basically figured out how to, how to fix them. Uh, if you do this right, then you will never get any lines on your Game Boy. See that? No lines whatsoever. So the first thing you're going to need to have is first a tri-wing bit screwdriver. You can get these on eBay. They go for a couple of bucks. Second thing is a double zero Phillips head screwdriver. Um, exacto knife or something that's thin and sharp, uh, whatever. Uh, this right here is glue tape. Uh, you can get this at the uh, arts and craft stores, uh, especially in Dollarama. They sell them for a buck. Uh, for all, the, for all the, uh, those people that don't know what the Dollarama is, say if you're living in Europe, it's a dollar store. Uh, it's, a, it's really strong adhesive tape. It's not, um, it's not like super glue strong, but it's not, you know, weak either. It's kind of in the middle. And the last thing you're going to need is a uh, 30, I'm using a 30 watt soldering iron, so I recommend that. First of all, what you're going to need to do is, this is going to be closed, I've already opened these up for you and removed the screws to kind of save some time. So, like I said, this was junk, and actually, let me, before we start off by saying this, if, if you ever get any of these Game Boys, I've seen a ton of them in the past that have, um, uh, battery acid in them that have exploded and you think oh man, you know, it's not gonna work anymore Guess what use white vinegar and grab a cute a q-tip and get in here and clean the shit out of it It'll work perfect. I don't know if you guys can see but there's still some uh, some uh, green left. Actually, let me just try and Yeah, right like right here somewhat some it's a little bit green left. It's just from the residue, but it still works um, What I recommend you guys to do first and foremost is grab your a bit uh, your uh, tri wing screwdriver and remove one, one, two, three, four, five, and six screws. And when you're prying this apart, be careful. I've already done this, so it's not. Be careful because there's a, a ribbon that it gets attached to this piece right here. So, you know, uh, pull on it gently. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this, you're gonna move it to the side. Unless you want to clean it, then there's really. There's only one, two, three, four, and you can take this apart and you can clean instead of it get, get inside the cartridge holder and really easy stuff. Now, the rest of this is actually pretty easy. You're gonna grab your Phillips head double zero screwdriver and you see these white circles right here? Those are where all the screws went. So there's 10 screws all together. One, two, three, four, uh, five, right there, it's covered. Five, uh, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So just remove those very easily. Uh, let me just get a better lighter here because I couldn't get it before. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Very easy stuff. Um, when you're pulling this apart, be gentle with it. Uh, be careful with the speaker too. Uh, I, I had to resolder this one because it kept falling apart. Um, and then just really easy, just pull on it like so, and it'll come right out. Now. As you can see, I'm missing a screen for this. It never came with a screen, and never actually even came with a back. So I've ordered those um, from uh, from China. I'm going to be getting two new screens. I'm going to be repl replacing this one, and I'm going to be replacing this one with uh, two new screens. And um, basically, after that, what you're going to want to do is uh, also get yourself like a piece of paper or something uh, to kind of wedge in between here and the screen itself. And I'll show you that in a minute. Now. You're at the the point where you want to figure out what uh, what's causing this. Well, let me put some batteries into here. Put this back in like so, and as soon as I turn it on, let's just zoom in on that a little bit. You can already see the uh, the lines. So basically, if, if I press down on this rubber pad, this is where we're going to be removing. This is the why you need this, the uh, the razor blade. Uh, we're going to be removing this pad, and we're going to be soldering underneath the pad. 
So let's turn this off. Let's unhook this real gently. And let's take it out. Basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your razor blade and cut underneath the pad real gently. If you can pull up on it. Let's see if we can move this. All right. Now there's the uh, rubber piece that was underneath the screen right there. Keep that off to the side. Now basically what you're going to do is you're going to take your Game Boy again, put this on top, plug it back in like so, and um, it's kind of an outward angle guys, but as you can see there's no lines going down right now. Depending on what, uh, how you hold it up to, like if, you have, if I hold it up here and how it depends on how the screen's being held up, but if I touch it, see that some of the lines show up still, but if that happens then just use your uh, soldering like this and then just... Do that, don't do it too, don't go nuts, but uh, do it to the point where the, uh, to the point where the, the stuff uh, basically resolders itself. And um, now what we're gonna basically be doing is taking this uh, strip and uh, we're gonna be putting some glue on it like so. And we're gonna be putting it back on the Game Boy. And now I'm gonna put it back together and then I'm gonna show you guys what the end result is. Bye.